So this mob was at the top of the workshop today on Steam for Black Ops 3, and I thought we'd give it a try. It basically turns the MP5K into a ray gun. So, I mean, immediately it caught my attention. Now, the only way to get it, I believe, is out of the box. And apparently it doesn't work against killing, like, margwas and parasites. So we're trying it on Derizendrach. I don't know if it will even kill the panzer, but we'll see. Definitely seems like a really cool idea for a mod, so yeah. We're gonna go ahead and immediately buy Quick Revive because I don't take no risks, man. All right, we've got a nuke at the end of the round. We've got like nearly 3,000 points. Might as well leave now. So where is the box? Oh, of course it's all the way over there. I was hoping it would be in the courtyard because it would make things way easier, but it's fine. We're gonna go ahead and buy, I think by the Vesper, just because we need a weapon. We need points. Let's go for the bows. Let's uh, start filling them up. I don't think we're going to upgrade one. We'll just get like the standard one as a secondary weapon. Because the main highlight right now is going to be, of course, the ray gun fucking full auto weapon. And I've upgraded the bows countless times anyway. We all know what they do. Yeah, I think that should be the last one for the dragon. I think we can actually afford the KN-44 as well. Oh no, it, the dragon didn't finish. Fuck, dude. I hate when I do that. See if we can kill it from down here. Maybe. Is that in range to feed it? Oh my god, it was! I'm a genius, dude. <laughs> Threw a grenade down there to finish off the dragon. Let's go, dude. Yeah, I was going to say, we can buy the KN-44 in here. Just as a starting temporary weapon. I wish we could have weapon kits in mods, man. Rest in peace to the boy client, of course. Okay, we need 1,500 points and then we can get the next door. I'm really excited to try this out because I love, like, really niche, fun, very small change mods. Like a brand new wonder weapon. Like, it turns a fucking SMG into a ray gun. I mean, imagine what they could do with other weapons. Like, imagine the KN-44, but a ray gun. Oh, we got a double point, so that's actually gonna really help if we can save up a little bit so we can open up some more doors afterwards oh the kn44 for getting headshots is actually really really good oh and another double points don't mind if i do i suppose oh that's the round okay not bad we now have 4,000 points. Well, we can get the power turned on. Boom, here we go. Power on. Apparently, it's quite a low chance to get it out of the box, but you know, fuck it. We have the points. Let's have a spin. See if we can see it in there. We've got the Dracon. I mean, a very solid weapon, not gonna lie. Can we see it in the- Oh yeah, you see it in the box. That looks so cool. Oh, I hope we get that. It's been a while since I've seen like a ray gun variation mod. Like, God, it just- Everything about it looks so sick. We've got the HVK. I'll take it. Maybe we should probably buy Jug before we work on spinning the box just so, you know, we can actually deal with the Panzer and stuff as well. Suppose it wouldn't be a bad idea. Honestly, with how solid that weapons are, we kind of don't need a bow. Right, where is the shield part? It's probably around here. Yep, there it is. Jump up. Oh, come on, grab it. There we go. Oh, God, hi. Go around the corner, see 50 billion zombies. <laughs> I think we should be able to afford Jug after this round. I think the dragon is... Okay, we need like one more kill. Okay, there we go. Dragon done. Boom. And that onto the last one, which will also get this done this round as well. It's nice to be back on Derizon Drak, man. Absolutely love this map. Still my favorite of all time, I think. Aesthetically, it's just a masterpiece. The way the map flows and just like everything about it, the gameplay, the Easter egg, it's all just fucking awesome. Dragons and shit, you know, can't really go wrong. I do wish that filling up the goddamn dragons was a little bit faster, but it's fine. All right, that should be the last one, I think. Just wait and see if it breathes fire. No, I'm always, I'm always one off, man, when I, when I do my little guessing game. There we go. Muscle memory, like, mistaken right now. There we go. All done. Nice and easy peasy. Let's swap out the HVK. Now we've got the bow. We'll just keep hold of this now for a while. All right, Jug acquired. Oh, there's another KN-44 wall by here. I didn't actually know there was two for it. That's quite cool. Just going to grab his last shield part really quick. Where does it spawn again? Oh, it's here. <laughs> Blind as hell, dude. Running straight past it. Just trying to avoid the packet punch thing right now. Because if we go to the rocket test facility and get it there, we can have the packet punch up in the center. That would be a lot easier. But we've got one more spin of the box. What are we going to get? Please, the ray gun thingy. Oh, the dingo. I mean, I'll actually take that. Pretty damn good. I'm not sure how long it will take us to get this gun, but, you know, I'll cut out most of the spins just so it's not boring to watch because we're here for the ray gun. I'm also going to grab that shield in a second. I'm going to build it probably... Uh, where do I want to build it? Maybe over here, actually, just by this jump pad. Yeah, here we go. Build the zombie shield. Oh god, fucking where'd you come from? But very last zombie almost down me as well. 2,500 points. Okay, we can get a couple spins in. Come on, ray gun. We're gonna get a teddy bear. <laughs> okay, dude, right as I say it. I knew it was coming, but come on, man. Don't troll me like that. It's been a while since I've used the regular bow without the actual, like, upgrade. 
against this Panzer especially, so I'm curious how that's going to be. When does he spawn again? It's not round 8 on this map, it's like 10, I think. I kind of wish they made it on round 8, considering BO3 is generally a little bit easier than BO2 in terms of, like, setup and stuff, but I guess this map was meant to be more, like, because Shadows of Evil was very difficult for new players to get into. The Giant was good, but it was a bit Pooh Bear Bones. The, the Rising Jurok is, like, that perfect middle ground. Okay, box is over... Where is that? Is that underground? I have a feeling that it's underground, so let's go see. Yeah, it's right here. I had a feeling. Okay, well, let's spin the box a little bit. Come on. Are the Pharaoh... You know, I'll just swap them out so it goes faster. The RPK. I was pretty glad they added these in. Oh, hello, fire cell. That's actually perfect. The ray gun. We've got the standard ray gun. Okay, we're on the right tracks, I think. Not quite what I was looking for, but... Slowly but surely, we're getting there, bro. Teddy bear? Okay, well, at least it's in a better spot now, because there's kind of a death trap down here. We haven't really got a good point gun now, either, because, you know, the bow and then the ray gun. Both are kind of eh. Okay, box is in the church this time. I think this is a church, right? I'm, I'm not getting my facts wrong. It looks like a church to me. Or a chapel, I guess, maybe? I mean, it's all modified to be scientific -y anyway, but the HVK again... I mean, you know, I'll take it. Yeah, I, I want an actual point gun. I'm imagining this is going to be as rare as the Rego Mark II. The R <gasps> we got the Rego! Oh, finally, dude. Oh, this looks so cool. Oh my god! <laughs> it really is like full auto. What the fuck is this? That was literally like our last spin as well, before we were probably going to get a teddy bear. Oh my god, look at this! This is without double tap as well. Imagine with double tap. This is going to fucking hit like a truck. The design is just so cool. Like, it really is a ray gun MP5K. I'll well, link to this model B in the description, of course. God damn, it looks fucking sick. Let's actually grab speed cola because the reload is a little slow. Pew, pew. Like, it has AoE damage as well. Like, splash damage to the other zombies near it. Like, we've never had an SMG version of the ray gun. You can't aim with it, which is interesting. We've had an assault rifle version, you know, the Ray K from Firebase Z, but this is certainly unique, all right? Okay, here's the Panzer, dude. The Panzer versus the Ray K, or the uh, ray gun MP5K. He's just doomed. He's dead. <laughs> He didn't stand a chance. I suppose it makes sense because, you know, if this is counting as one ray gun shot for every single, like, shot that fires out, then yeah, he got destroyed. Now, we've not even pack a punch this yet. Imagine what it's gonna be like when packed. And with double tap, I think we'll go do that now. Let's open up this door. Let's quickly go and buy double tap first, though. Okay, boom. Now let's go teleport and get that pack a punch turned on. Oh, God. That fucking jump scared me, man, going around the corner like that. Oh, my God. Wait, this fire so quickly now with double tap. That's insane. How much is for teleporter? It's 500, right? Okay, good. We have just enough. Gotta be a little careful with ammo. Oh, lag spike. Yeah, here we go. We can go and turn on the pack a punch. There we go. Now Pap will be on the death ray area. Oh, God. This just... Just do. I'm like tapping it because it fires so quick that I don't want to waste all the ammo. This is hilarious. This is so, this is so goddamn broken. Unfortunately, it's not a very good way of getting points, though, is the only problem. Also, yeah, we're running a little bit low on ammo. Hopefully, we're going to max soon. Although, I think we'll be due a dog round in like a couple rounds. So, that's the round, though. Let's go on back. I think there's still a perk limit even on this mod, sadly. We could also try the tram. Maybe we get a max ammo from this. Oh, never mind. We've got dogs now, anyway. In before we get a max anyway. Okay, no, we've got a fire cell. Ray 5k versus the dogs. Who's going to win, do you think? Um, Let's see. One shot. Wait, actually, okay. I was going to say, I, I, it seemed weirdly quite tanky against it. Pew, pew. Yeah, they just do not stand a single chance. Last one. Bop. And there we go. Now we just need 5,000 points to pack a punch this and see what it'll be like. I also want to get another Panzer so we can actually uh, try shredding it with the pack a punch version. It already killed him pretty fast. Yeah, there's a perk limit still, sadly. Oh! <laughs> I held down the trigger for a second and that's what I did. Jesus. Oh my god. I just, I'm drooling over this gun, man. This is so cool. I've seen these, like, videos where people will take the ray gun or any kind of gun and just make it fire ridiculously fast with some plutonium command, I think. Which I want to kind of try for myself eventually, but I don't know how to do it. But... <laughs> oh, good God. No one's to fall pack a punch. Oh. All right, there we go. Pack a punch time. What is this going to be like? 
going to have a sick-ass camo too. Oh, it's got like the green. Okay, okay, I can get behind this. This looks kind of cool. Oh my god, it still fires ridiculously fast. It's the Ray 10k now. Can you repack a punch it? No, you can't. Okay, I was going to say it would be a bit broken with like blast furnace or dead wire on it as well. <laughs> that like the helmet just went flying off. I highly suggest checking this mod out for yourself because yeah, it works on I think any map except for Revelations. And it's cool that the regular Reagan is also in this mod, so like it doesn't replace it or anything. You can have both. Just uh, one extra weapon to to have fun with. All right, Panzer time. Unless we're not going to get in this round. Oh yeah, here we go. Where's the Panzer spawning? Oh, there he is. Oh God, stunning me. What's up, bro? Oh my god, I'm down. <laughs> well, I took him down with me, man. <laughs> Oops, I was paying too much attention to just focusing on him. It's fine, we're good. Let's actually grab stamina up just so we can get to the perk faster. Oh god, I went the wrong way. Oh shit. Ooh. Is there splash damage? There's no splash damage. Okay, instant bonus. All right, Jug, where is it? Oh, oh, going the wrong way again. Fuck it, dude, I'll fight my way out. Ah! Oh, an insta-kill. Like, not like I necessarily need it, but we're not going to bother getting quick revive because, you know, when this video isn't intending to go on for ages, we've already got the weapon, we're kind of showcasing it. And this way I can actually have stamina up, which allows me to train a little better. Better, better, better words, fucking speaking. I just want to get enough for speed cola. I'm trying to get points though with this is just, it's not the best. Like, you know, compare it to the bow. Obviously, charged shot, boom. But again, that only gives like 50 points. Oh my god, I almost went down there. Ah! This is just way cooler to take out the zombies with, though. <laughs> I wonder how many shots it would take if we have an entirely full horde of zombies and we shoot into them and just like how fast we can kill them all. I'm going to do that next round because we're basically towards the end of this one anyway. I just love the way the back of the like gun, it looks like a regular ray gun with like the a bar thing and the coils and stuff. Just it, it, the design of this is so cool. Okay, full horde time. Oh, I could actually buy speed coder as well. Nice, nice, nice. Good timing. Okay, here we go. Full horde. How many shots does it take? <laughs> About half a magazine. And it completely destroyed them all. Alright, let's try it again. Yeah, no, there's just, it's just, it's so broken. It's so good. I wonder what the damage ratio is like, because it obviously it fires quite fast. It has a lot more ammo than a regular ray gun, so maybe it does a little bit less damage. Which I suppose would kind of make sense. Oh no, the zombies have me trapped. Just kidding! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. The fact this works on any map as well is kind of awesome. All right, this is most of the zombies. <laughs> the way it makes the bodies go flying as well is just so fucking cool. Oh, God, crawlers. I was just using the bow for a second. I almost got stuck. We're going to try it versus the Panzer one last time and see how it does. Just kidding. The Panzer didn't spawn this round. I thought it was every five rounds, but... um. Never mind then, I guess. I always loved the MP5K as well, like just the standard version, because it was like a very good point weapon. It was like the go-to for Black Ops 1. And then in Black Ops 3, it just turned into whatever the fuck this is. Like, <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, we've got the ray gun as well. You know, honestly, I'll swap out the, uh, the bow. Now we have a ray gun and an MP5K ray gun. The ray 10K. Honestly, which one looks cooler? Like, you can see the similarities in the designs, right? Oh, here we go. Panzer spawned in. Where's he at? Oh, I see him. Fucking bitch ass. Let's spawn in the death ray just so I can actually fucking deal with this guy. Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> he just didn't stand a chance. Just like tap into his chest. Boom, he's gone. I compare this to the standard ray gun. Like, it fires fast. It's not bad. But it doesn't fire anywhere near as quickly as this. And it, I think this definitely does a bit more damage. Let's get that max. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this awesome little fun mod. If you guys see any other like cool wonder weapon mods that put the a cool gun into the box, feel free to let me know because I will happily play it and try it out because like this was awesome. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen of me playing Ascension, but with Cold War weapons. It was actually a pretty fun experience. And yeah, I will see you in my next video.